Hey, greetings. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, YouTubers. Elton McFall here. It's an unusually cloudy and rainy morning here in Montreal. It's uh, weird, and I'm pretty tired, not just because of that, but because of the fact that uh, uh, I was... I woke up, you know, I go to the bathroom at four o'clock in the morning and uh, right as soon as I woke up and opened my eyes, the power went out. So my AC went out and uh, so that that didn't get uh, fixed until two hours later. And, uh, and then they started doing construction at seven o'clock in the morning here or the building somewhere in the back there. Hang on a minute here. Yeah, somewhere over here they're working on a building, restoring it. So anyway, um, whatever. Coffee is my... Uh, my fuel just like so many of you so i got this idea since i've developed the notoriety regardless of the lack of funds i make from uh, youtubing from you know past years whatever i can use my notoriety to uh, try to 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 offer you guys some unique items that i make and actually i had the pleasure last week of meeting uh dave thomas no not the actor a gentleman from ottawa with his son and his son is a big fan of my channel. Actually, the whole family seems to be a fan of my videos. And again, uh, you guys, it's great meeting you again. And he walked out actually with one of my uh, one of my original paintings, like this guy, but much bigger. This I did not paint actually. Anyway, everything you see here in my office is for sale, is available. That's an original photo, by the way. That Via Train, I think it was at Dorval. It looks like it was taken in the late seventies, early eighties. This original vintage hubcaps. That's a very rare, I'm pretty sure that's a one-of-a-kind Australian Kenworth clock. So, here's one of my drawings there, Freightliner cab over. I don't know, Mikhail, if you see this, maybe uh, I could sway you to pick this up when you come get your painting when it's done in about a week. Because today, what are we today, the 7th of uh, August? So this should come out pretty good. I got the light set up here. So anyway, um, recently, you know, just a couple of days ago, I framed these pictures, these three over here, and these inexpensive frames here. They're used frames, and but these photos, they're all originals. Um, they're all, yeah, they're, you can see they're all 5 by 7 inch photos. I bought them many years ago. I don't remember when, many years ago on eBay. And uh, they're uh, reprint photos, all taken, like, they're mostly taken all, like, in the 50s. And... Uh, Oh, yeah, I can't really show you. These ones are original, but like this one, for example, this is a vintage frame, vintage chrome metal frame. And this is really cool. This one of the ones I thought was awesome because these 59 Pontiacs were with the uh, Ville de Montréal Est because in the old days, there were a lot of places in the city that were actually divided and not part of the, the city of Montreal, if you know what I mean, like Hampstead, for example, and Côte Saint-Luc and so forth, and Dorval. So all these are uh, uh, 15 bucks each. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, they're all 15 bucks each. Uh, these ones I might go a little lower because they're cheap frames. And uh, again, I frame all this stuff myself. I can ship them, but obviously shipping, I mean, like just this one alone is heavy. It'll probably be like 15, 20 bucks. But they're one of a kind items. It doesn't matter if they're not originals. You know, like look how beautiful this thing is. Okay, well, this one is a more of like a plasticky frame, but it looks like metal, looks like aluminum. Look at this beautiful picture. The Rue St. Catherine Street, downtown the Rue St. Catherine. You got a 57 Chevy 150. There's a 59 Parisienne uh, convertible. There's a 57 Buick in the foreground. You got your Midway Theater. I think it's a theater. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, very nice. Beautiful items. Like I said, I frame all this stuff myself. I love framing my stuff myself. Look, even this 57, look, even this 58 Pontiac Parisienne picture that I took in 2008, I framed that years ago. And it's just an old frame, and I just kind of repainted it. Look at this. This place actually still exists today. And it's it's actually still a Chrysler dealer. It's it's one of the oldest remaining dealers in Montreal. Uh, beautiful item. Got all these 50s cars here. It looks this picture was taken in 1955. You can see the uh, 55 Plymouth lineup in there, and uh, there's a, also a Chrysler, a couple of Chryslers. Really nice stuff. Yeah, plastic frame, but still does the job very nicely. And uh, and then, like I said a few days ago, I, I framed these guys. 
And by the way, if I if I can sway to come to 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 buy one of these or buy a bunch of them, then I will actually not only sign them in the back if I can, but I'll also make them out to you. The autograph. Here's St. Catherine Street. Looks like early or mid fifties. Streetcar, beautiful. Another one on that on St. Catherine here, St. Catherine Street. This one even has a very rare 61 Meteor taxi back there. I don't know if you can see it with the split headlights. I actually filmed one of those recently uh, in Granby. It blew my mind. I was hoping to see a 61 Monarch that I've seen over the years in photos at shows. I never caught up to it. Even on Friday, I was hoping to see it at a show in Laval. But at least in Granby, I did see a 61 uh, Meteor like that. And it's funny because it makes the other cars look very common. And uh, again, you can see that it's an original photo. If you look at the the the, the thickness of the paper, the photo paper, it's not a it's not a photocopy or something. Here's another beauty here. I'm pretty sure also on St. Catherine Street. You can see a beautiful '58 Buick, probably a yeah Buick Special two door post. You can hear that banging. They're working on that goddamn building there. You know, but again, I have a tendency to undersell myself. So even these ones, I probably should ask 15 instead of 10. I mean, I did frame them. It's just they're really cheap frames. So, but again, if you buy like, uh, you know, like I said, at least two of them. Like if you bought like, you know, like all three of these, uh, I'll do like 30 bucks for all three, you know. So, oh yeah, and just to finish to go along with this, here's a picture I took of this 59 Biscayne, which I'm happy to say is still in Quebec. I saw it at Granby last weekend. Or the weekend before, and this is a picture I took in, oh man, I think 98, 99, that's when I started to get serious about car spotting and have a camera with me all the time. And I had it laminated on wood many, many years ago. It's in good shape. Oh yeah, look at this, I even, no, 90, yeah, 98, there we go, it's signed. Yeah, it's signed there. So this one is, uh, it's only 10 bucks, this one, just because I've had a long time. I've had... I look at some stuff I framed recently. So come on down. I won't waste your time. You'll be glad you came. Yeah, again, this is like an automotive museum here. Look, I got a my Peterbilt truck painting, which I'm probably gonna have to do another video of one day just to see if I can uh, get one of you guys, maybe one of you truck drivers, interested in it. Here's some ads I framed recently. Fifty nine Kingswood, uh, sixty. Sorry, these ones are uh, fifteen each. Here's a sixty four. Chevy Nova. This one is totally out of context. I love it. This is actually from a 1957 Canadian McLean's magazine. I just thought it was so, uh, such an awesome picture. Very apropos, you know, like the weight of the world on a man's shoulders, you know. Here's a 60 Buick LeSabre ad, and it's only 10 bucks because the frame's got a scratch in it here. I don't know if you can see it. And the ad you can see is also not perfect. Again, I frame all this stuff myself. This is great for a garage or something, a bar. And, uh, yeah, one of you subscribers, God, I forgot your name. You sent me a bunch of posters, aviation related ones, and you sent me this guy and I thought it was nice. So I happened to frame it. I happened to have a frame for it. There's my old saber. And if you love trucks, by the way, this is something I made a few months ago. This is all pictures, mostly from old magazines, books. See, there's a big mix of Montreal. Oh shit. Mix of Montreal and New York. Yeah. I don't even remember what I wanted for that, actually. Too much glare. Too much glare. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And like I said, please uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Uh, regarding these items, if you don't want to use uh, uh, the uh, YouTube platform, you can find me also on, on Facebook, and you can message me. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have yourselves a nice day, and be well.